What up, champ? We back with it. Let's get it. Today, we'll go ahead and go through an arm day. So, we're gonna hit biceps, then we're gonna hit triceps. With the biceps, it's three parts of the bicep. You got the long head, you got the short head, and you got the brachialis. So we're gonna hit all three of those. And then we're gonna hit triceps later on. And that's gonna be uh, the medial, the lateral, and also the long head of the tricep. So we're gonna walk all three sections of each one of those, you know, to get the, the full circumference of the arm, you know what I'm saying? But before we get to that, I'm gonna go ahead and do some pull-ups because I like to challenge myself at the beginning of my arm days with some pull-ups. So we're gonna see how many pull-ups I can get. All right, champ, so we finna do some drag curls. So what you wanna do is you wanna grab yourself a straight bar. So with the straight bar, you wanna grab it shoulder length apart, roll your shoulders back just a little bit, then drag the bar up your body, and then come down. Drag up, squeeze those biceps, and then come down. We gonna do the drag curls, and that's gonna really hit the peaks, the brachialis, it's gonna hit all the muscles, all the muscles that you need. Now we about to do some single arm curls, but I like to do it on the incline bench. But instead of using like a dumbbell, I use the easy curl bar. And this is just something that I started doing like when I first started working out, like my first like creative type of movements I do. Because when you're doing the easy curl bar, it's kind of like you have to balance, you have to balance the bar and curl it at the same time. So it's kind of hitting a lot of different muscles at the same time. And as you can see, it's kind of, it's a difficult movement. Like when you first start doing, I'm kind of used to it. But when you come down, it's kind of like you got to balance. Like you see how it's, how it's like unbalanced right now? <laughs> you want to be in the middle of the bar and then you want to try to balance it as much as you can. So really you want to go like, you can go like this, you can go like this, but you got to keep the bar straight while you come down. Then you come up and curl. Yeah, that one feel crazy. Try that one too. Tap in.
champ. So when you're doing this single arm curl, since you're doing it with the easy curl bar, you want to make sure that your hand is in the middle of the easy curl bar. And then the balance is going to be off because, you, you know, you work in certain stabilization muscles within the bicep to keep the bar evenly distributed. It's a good workout. It's a real good bicep workout. But let's get to the next one. All right, champ. So for the brachialis, you know, the brachialis when you feel muscle within the bicep, what I've been doing, instead of using the dumbbells, I've been using the kettlebell. And how I've been doing it is I take the kettlebell, I grab it like this, and then I just make sure that the kettle, the top of the kettlebell is in line with the center of my body. And then I curl up as one, two, three, four. This shit heavy as hell. <laughs> God damn. different doing it with the kettlebell versus the dumbbell. When you're doing it with the dumbbell, it's like a whole different type of weight distribution because you know with the kettlebell, more of your weight is in the center versus it being on the, you know, the two outsides. thing too I've been switching hands with it too so sometimes I might just hit 10 on both sides or I might hit five on this five on this five on this five on this five on that five on that until they done so that's what we've been doing with the kettlebells for the brachialis let's get to these triceps all right champ so now we have triceps we're gonna go ahead and hit some reverse pull down and what the reverse pull downs remember how I said it's different parts of your triceps. You got the long head, you got the lateral head, which is the side, and then you got the medial head, which is in the inside. So we gonna really hit that medial head back here with these reverse pull downs. So you wanna do a reverse grip, and then you just wanna come straight down. Make sure the bar is in your hand properly, though. Boy, that's squeaking going crazy. So. Squeeze. 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 And those are the things that I'm thinking about. The mind muscle connection, I'm thinking about keeping my shoulders rolled back. I'm thinking about coming up to my sternum. Those are the things that's running through my head when I'm doing this exercise. And of course, going to failure, you know what I'm saying? Cause you gotta get big. Let's get to it. All right champ, so we over here at the dip press machine. We ain't got our weight belt today, so you know we go ahead and you know, come to the dip press machine so we can still add some weight to our dips. So what you wanna do is you wanna lock your feet in place cause me personally, I'm only like 164, and the weight that I'm using, I'm gonna keep going up in weight, so might as well start off by locking my legs down. You can do it without locking your legs down, but I like to lock my legs down. And when you push it, make sure you're not pushing up your toes. Make sure you just playing your heels into the ground to prevent you from rising up. So instead of me gripping the, uh, the bar and pushing down like this, which you could do it this way. I like to push from my palms. So I push my palms down towards the ground. And then you wanna make sure that you, um, you wanna make sure that you squeezing after every rep. So you're gonna see me pause for like two to three seconds with every rep. And that's just making sure that I'm really contracting that tricep muscle 
you know what I'm saying? So I get the triceps. I'm trying to get the bees and the triceps. Alright champ, that's a wrap. We done. So make sure that y'all hit that notification bell. Make sure y'all subscribe. Make sure y'all like. Make sure y'all do all of that. Comment below and let me know what we need to change up, what we need to do. You know what I'm saying? Let's get to it. We both working.